What's going on guys? Today we're out on a lake that I have not been on ever in the fall. Um, so it's, guys, it's kind of a new lake video. We actually fished out here um, in early summer and it was a shallow weed bite that time of year. Now we're out here in the late fall. Now, like I said, I've never been out here in the fall, so there's kind of one or two things that normally happen in the fall. Either you get some kind of deep structure bite for walleyes, or there's some kind of shallow bite for walleyes, or sometimes there's both going on. So the first thing we're gonna do is I wanna check out a shallow bite, because last time I was here in the summer, I was catching them on weed structure. So, you know, how do you how do you select basically how deep you're gonna look for weeds? Well, it all depends normally for walleye fishing on what the deepest weed line is. So we're gonna go into a piece of structure, see where the weed line is, and uh, kind of make an assessment on there basically is how deep we're going to fish, and then we'll end up looking around a whole bunch of different weed spots probably, and doing some side imaging for some walleye. So stay tuned, I'm not sure what we're gonna find, and uh, yeah, let's go up get after it. All right guys, so I just came into uh, kind of like the first big weed point. Um, I actually drove over a couple of points in a hump, but the weed edge is about at 10 feet, like you can see right here on down imaging and sonar. Um, so I know that that's probably the edge for most of the lake, probably it's kind of what I've seen. So, you know, we're either gonna be looking for walleyes in that 10 to 12 foot zone right on that edge, um, or on some kind of insect cut in the weeds. Most of the time, if you're fishing like really thick junk, like milfoil, um, like a lot of the weeds are in this lake, you're not gonna be fishing like inside the milfoil pocket. It's just too thick, fish don't really live inside of it. Walleyes don't anyway. Sometimes smaller fish will sit on top of it, but we're gonna run a lot of side imaging, look at a whole bunch of weed spots, um, and if we're just not seeing what we want on side imaging, then it's time to check out a deep water bite. Uh, yeah, that went pretty awesome. First. Just kidding, hang, hang on baby, I gotta, I gotta do, I just caught the first walleye of the day. There it is guys, you gotta turn the music off though. I totally forgot we were even filming a walleye video today because I couldn't find any fish. But there's there's the first one. I think I've had a couple of walleye bites, maybe they've been pike, but uh, we're actually fishing way up, way up on a shallow weed edge. Um, basically the fish are so shallow and so in the weeds that I can't even mark them. So uh, we're gonna get back to cast then. I've fished two of these main lake weed points now where I've seen no fish. Um, and I've had bites on both. That was the first one we've had on. So um, I'm gonna see if this is the pattern, and if it is, then we'll break it down and tell you guys what we're doing. Fish on. Made the same cast I did on the last fish. I believe we got a little bit nicer walleye on. We do. Man, for as tough as this looked initially, now that I'm actually fishing, feel uh, much better about this. I so suppose it's big, probably time for me to grab a rod now, huh? Yeah, Mitch has literally, I've been driving around and fishing for like two hours now. Mitch has yet to pick up a rod. I think he's on Bumble or Tinder or something. No, I'm just cold. But uh, decent walleye there. That's probably about a 17 inch. Um, Long Lake Walleye is where we are today. I don't think we've said that yet, but this is officially a pattern. Two's a pattern, so we can tell you guys exactly what we're doing. So basically the biggest, cooler was I just wasn't seeing a lot of fish um, on side imaging. Now the weed edge is like uh, it's like 10, 11, 12 feet you'll have some fringe out there and a lot of times on a lot of lakes I fish um, I have like a real clean sand edge to the weeds and on some lakes that's normal some lakes that's not and I was looking for just that really good pot of fish right on that edge and I just wasn't seeing it so I just started kind of looking at the map and instead of scanning the whole weed bed, I just kind of anchoring on the sweet spots of the weed bed. So we'll kind of go into a little bit of how you guys can, um, you know, if you're not seeing fish, how you can kind of fish these sweet spots on a weed bed and be effective. All right guys, so like I said, when we're driving around, you know, looking for fish that we just did not see. I mean, I've seen a few fish like outside the weed edge, but nothing that makes me say like, there's a pot of walleyes that's stopping fish. So, you know, now we've just kind of started fishing the most defined uh, basically spot on a weed spot so I mean 90% of the structure on this lake that's less than 10 feet definitely has weeds on it of some kind we haven't really keyed in on like one type of weed or you know really thick versus not really thick yet but when I'm looking for kind of the sweet spot on a spot it's pretty easy to look at your map and kind of pick this out you know if you're fishing a point and you're looking for something like this right here um, you know another example would be like you know here's kind of a bigger flat with a little knob off it something like this right here um, so after you see a few more images like this um, you know 
it's easy to kind of see that sweet spot and just kind of pull up onto it, make 10 casts to it quick, fan around off the back of the boat and move on, right? I'm not really seeing a lot of fish in these spots, like I said, but it's really easy instead of fishing that whole weed bed to figure out if there's fish. You know, if there's fish on this spot, you know, it's more than likely they're gonna be right on the tip of this point. So this is a lot of kind of what I'm doing right now. Um, so we're gonna roll through a whole bunch more of these spots and uh, see what happens. Fish on. Pitching back at a bunch of weeds. And it's not big, but it is a big success for us. Let's turn the music off and uh, we'll give you guys a look in the breakdown. All right guys, there we go. About a 15 inch walleye. Now, is this the biggest walleye I've ever caught? No, but uh, these are big successes when we come to these kind of do these new lake videos. I've been to this lake before. Uh, we actually filmed a video here in, uh, must have been uh, July, I guess. Um, but we got onto a good weed pattern. Like I said, I've never been out here, don't know 99% of the structures. And uh, you know we're catching a few fish. But this is a much more challenging time of year, generally, to come to a new lake in the fall like this. It's just a very different bite. You know, fish can be deep, they can be very shallow. Uh, we're fishing a shallow water pattern. We've actually hit a whole bunch of these spots now. We've had a few bites, we've caught some bass and stuff like that, uh, but we are not seeing a ton of walleye. So even that's just a 15 inch walleye, big success for us. Fish on nuts. Ooh, is it getting bigger? Not a giant, but another nice walleye. You know, we're, real quick, we're gonna talk about one little tip when you're picking out sweet spots like this. Now, today we have a stiff south wind, right? So one thing you guys can do, I'm not looking for points. We'll try to throw up a graphic right here. So like, I'm not looking at this point right here. Basically what I wanna do in a south wind is look for the points that the wind's coming into, like on this other end down here. And uh, you know, that I can basically right away eliminate about half the points in the lake, just cause a lot of times, you know, especially when you're fishing shallow water, those shallow water fish are much more wind driven and they're much more affected by wind. So I'm always looking for spots that the wind's coming into versus basically the backside of stuff uh, that the wind's not on. It helps those fish get up there and adds a lot of life in the weeds. So um, good fish there. Feels good to be catching fish. Um, on a basically new lake to us, a new pattern. So uh, stay tuned, maybe we'll get a few more. Live, on air. Do I look good? Oh yeah, I look good, dude. I mean, Thank it's you. Locked, though. Thank you, sir. Finally picked up a rod over here and uh, probably gonna catch the biggest fish like usual. Yeah, it looks like it. Nice walleye. Heck yes. Catching fish. Surly's taking a nap. Surly. Alrighty. Well, well, Mitch caught one, we can leave now. Yes, we're done. Like Tom said, we came out here in uh, really early July, I think it was like July 1st, and uh, we actually didn't have a hard time catching fish. We actually caught everything pretty much in one spot. Today is a much different story. We had to really work for these guys. Rolling. Guys, we are hooked up. Oh, next cast. Oh my gosh, you guys have no idea the pressures of coming to a new lake and having to film a video in late October on a tough bite. But we got it done. Another quality, quality fish there. All right, guys, there we go. We're on enough fish now where we know we got a decent pattern going on. You know, I don't think this day's the exact same weather we had yesterday, and fish just didn't bite that good yesterday on a lake that I fish all the time. So, nice fish there, about a 17 and a half inch northern Wisconsin walleye. Thank you guys for watching. I like doing these new lake videos. I mean, basically the breakdown, you know, like we kind of talked about, we came out here to fish weeds. We poked around out deep, weren't seeing a whole lot of stuff. And uh, I'm not seeing many fish on side imaging at all. I'm basically just going weed point to weed point to weed point to a weed point of a hump to weed point in a bay and uh, hitting a million of them. Most of them, not many fish on it, but uh, normally when we're getting bites, we're getting a few bites at a time. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I enjoy doing these new lake videos. Hopefully they're good for you guys to watch. Um, you know, today was a struggle for us. We didn't spend a ton of time out here, but we got on a bite that I think is a pattern. And I'm sure you guys can come out here and fish the same kind of pattern. The other reason I like doing these kind of videos is because it's out of the norm for me. And uh, the more situations I put myself in and share with you guys, hopefully it's more applicable to what you guys are doing on your home lake. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.